Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Pivo Adiba Wale. This is your first time. Welcome. I'm glad that you're here. And if you're returning, welcome and thank you for coming back. I hope that content from this channel has been blessing you. I actually believe it has been blessing you. And if you're new, I believe that content from this channel will be such a blessing to you. And I invite you to share and like and to subscribe if it, if it has been a blessing. Today we're talking about Jesus, the name of Jesus and mental health. I am such a stickler for ensuring that we have our mental health in order because the Bible says that God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power of love and of his sound mind. So it is our bread to have our health in order, our health in our minds. You know, most of the church has focused on bodily healing and I believe that that is so important. And it's also God's plan for us to live on this earth with wholeness in our body. However, in this dispensation and in this day and age, I also believe I firmly believe that it is also the plan of God for us to live our lives with a sound mind, not with anxiety, not with depression, not with intrusive thoughts, but with a sound mind. Hallelujah. And so today I just want to talk about the name of Jesus and how the name of Jesus is a tool that the Lord has given to us to be able to achieve this. Before we continue, let's just pray. So Father, in the name of Jesus, Thank you for this opportunity to share your word with your people. Please speak to us, teach us your word, teach us your ways, and help us apply the things that we'll learn so that we'll not be hypocrites, we'll not be just hearers, we'll also be doers. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So I'll be looking, starting, I'll start this um, topic, this message from Philippians 2, verse 9 to 11. If you have your Bible, I invite you to read, um, to look at it later, or just op to open it as well. So Philippians 2, verse 11 verse 2 verse 9 to 11 says therefore god elevated him to a place of honor and gave him the name above all other names that at the name of jesus every knee should bow in heaven on earth and under the earth and every tongue declare that jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father hallelujah hallelujah so we have a tool the name of jesus have you ever wondered that many times people curse with the name of jesus like oh why people curse nobody curses with buddha's name nobody curses with um the name of the islamic god or any other um deity that people serve all over the world but people constantly dishonor the name of jesus when you watch movies today you hear people using the name of jesus as a curse word or just um something i i can understand if you're afraid and you shout jesus you know to save you and all that but if you're just using the name of jesus anyhow that's just wrong that's just disrespectful but it's a ploy of the enemy i'll talk about it some more as we get into the video but the bible says that god elevated him to the place to a place of the to the place of the highest honor now if you read um the verses before this it talks about the fact that jesus even though he was god he did not consider it robbery he was not dragging godness with god right he did not come on earth and just show up and say yes i am god i've come no he came humble as a humble servant right he came obedient to god which is the place of honor is low right to get honor we have to come low we have to be we don't have to be prideful or being proud. We have to submit to the Lord. The Bible says submit to the Lord. Resist the devil and he will flee. Hallelujah. So it is so important that we come low to come up higher. That's what we see Jesus. That's what we saw the Lord do in this Philippians 2. And then it says give him the name above all other names. I checked um, Strong's Concordance to see what the name means. And it talks about meaning authority, meaning character. And it made sense to me because when you think about me, favor, my name is favor, right? When you think about me, you don't see the letters F A V O U R. No, you think about who I am. You say, ah, this lady, she's, she's she likes to smile. Um, she always has this scarf on, right? You think about what you think I am or who you think I am. You think about my character. You might think about what I have done to you if you know me personally. You might think, ah, favor did this favor. You don't think of favor in terms of the name like the letters you think of the person you think of the character which is what um, it means really the name so god has given him a person above other persons we can say that god has given him a character above other characters god has given him authority above all other authorities hallelujah that then at the name of jesus that when you invoke his name when you're invoking his name you're invoking who he is you're invoking his person and at the name of jesus every knee should bow in heaven on earth and under the earth hallelujah this verse always makes me so glad it always makes me so grateful that there is no deity there's no principality there's no demonic spirit that will not submit to the name of jesus 
hallelujah and every tongue declare that jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father i checked the meaning of glory it means to the praise dignity honor of glory of god the father hallelujah so it is so important that we know the name of jesus right why the bible says in proverbs 18, 18 verse 10 it says the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run it to it and they are safe in this day and age of course you know i've talked a lot on this channel about um sometimes demons influencing people's mental health right you know and this day of this um, and in this day of, ugh, in this day and age <laughs> you can see right if you have ever been attacked right in your mind you can feel it that there are demons in the air but we run into the name of jesus hallelujah it's a strong tower i like to imagine myself in a tower and in a tower of lights because the bible says that he is light right and there's no shadow of darkness and so i always i like to imagine myself like in a building of light and i'm in jesus right notice if any man is in christ he's a new creation so i'm in jesus i'm in christ and nothing can touch me hallelujah of course if you don't play with satan's goods right if you don't if the lord helps you you depend on lots of helping us upon temptation right then you will not be prey to the enemy so ensure that you keep yourself from sinning against god um but that's not the topic of today so the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous runs into it and safe and they are safe so to secure one of the ways to secure your mental health with the name of jesus is to run into the name of jesus right to so consciously know it in your mind it's easy to say oh yes i'm a christian i'm born again i love jesus but are you in jesus are you staying in jesus are you is it something that's in your consciousness it's so important that you walk around the day this is not something i've mastered too by the way so this is something we're learning together but you walk you walk around in the day knowing that i'm in jesus i am in jesus i that dwell in the secret place of the most High, just like psalm 91 teaches so i am in jesus i am hidden in christ and christ is hidden in god right because we're hidden in this person remember i said that the name can also mean authority character right so we are hidden in him the name of the lord is a strong tower the person of jesus is a strong tower the character of jesus is a strong tower hallelujah the righteous run into it as long as you have received jesus as your lord and savior you run into the name of jesus and you are saved that's what the word of god teaches hallelujah so when the enemy tries to attack you one of the things i i used to practice I need to get back there because of course it is the it is just like the kingdom of darkness to try to attack you however it is like the christian to always and every time succeed in ensuring that there is victory david never lost a battle because he depended on god hallelujah so one thing i used to do that i need to get back to is when i would get in fact i recently started getting back to it actually but when i would hear a thought that was tempting and that wasn't of the lord i would say no you get away from here in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now remember remember that jesus rebuked the storm remember that time he was sleeping on in the boat and then um the disciples came to wake him up and said oh don't you care that we're going to die and he's rebuked this when he just rebuked the storm he didn't say i'm rebuking you i'm rebuking you in jesus and he just said what what nonsense you know when you're rebuking someone you if you have a small child when you're rebuking your child you don't say i rebuke you no you say you say what are you doing right so you're scolding so basically when a thought comes you you rebuke that thought you what are you doing in the name of jesus you leave this place hallelujah see there's authority in the name of jesus the problem is that we don't know we don't know we don't know and we don't read our bibles that's why because if we read our bibles and we depend on the holy spirit to teach us because of course the letter kills but the spirit gives life so if we read our bibles and we depend on the holy ghost to teach us then we will get that life hallelujah hallelujah and i'm teaching it i'm i'm getting scared because it's not only for me to teach, it's also for me to apply. We are all supposed to learn together and, and apply it. So, yeah, hallelujah. So, we must, as you are hearing, you are implicated because you must apply. It. You, it's not, don't let Satan be playing with your mental health now. Hallelujah. God has given you a sound mind. There are things you need to achieve on this earth that cannot be achieved if your mind is a mess. If you're if you're dealing with intrusive thoughts, anxiety, depression, there are things you will not. But God is there are people who are counting on you to achieve the things that you need to achieve, so that they can also be who God has called them to be. So fight for your mental health. Fight that your mind, because He has given us the sound the sound mind. It is for us to receive it. Hallelujah. So earlier, and I said that uh, um, men, most times nobody uses the name of other deities as as a curse words but the name of the lord jesus christ is always used 
as cause words like it's just disrespectful but you know why because the enemy is trying to devalue the name of jesus because what you don't value you cannot receive from what you don't honor you can't receive from like now if you don't if as i'm talking to you now if you just think i'm saying nonsense you're not going to get anything if you disrespect somebody and feel like oh they're they're just talking trash you will you're not your heart is not in a place to receive from them and that's the same thing when the enemy deceives us we are watching we are watching movies and you're hearing them just mention the name of the lord left right and center saying the name of jesus and talking about it in a disrespectful manner like ah oh, you know just disrespecting them the name of the lord. and you keep watching you're supporting nonsense so the bible says that the name of the lord is a strong tower we run into them and see so it's important that we honor the name how do we use the name first of all you must know him don't be like the seven sons of skiva acts 19 verse 11 to 20 tells us how those ones behaved <laughs> they were casting out demons apostle Paul was casting out demons right disciples were casting out demons and they decided that they also wanted to go and cast out demons but they did not know the lord right so people can say they are christians but do you know the lord how do you know him if you don't spend time with him excuse me how do you know someone if you don't spend time with them anyway so they went to gang um feel free to read the scriptures to acts 19 11 to 20. they now went to go and um cast out demons them their own selves and <laughs> the demons beat them beat them one man overpowered seven sons and sent them out naked because they didn't know the lord and they were trying to use his name so you must know the lord to use his name in the battle because this life is warfare it is warfare so to use his name we must know the lord how do you know him you spend time with him five minutes is a good place to start but don't stay there you spend five minutes you graduate to 10 minutes graduate to 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes don't stay there five minutes uh -uh. we'll come back to that some other time now uh his name saves hallelujah the name of jesus will save you romans 10 13 says call upon the name of the lord and you'll be saved Acts chapter, 2, 2, Acts chapter 2 verse 21 also talks about the fact that his name saves. So we have safety. In it. That's the sure proof, honestly. Yeah, that's the sure proof of anything else that you do apart from apart from walking with God and through Jesus. You get into tr trouble eventually because demons don't like us. They might pretend, oh, they're here to help us and all. At the end of the day, it's to, to, destroy, it's to destroy mankind and send mankind to hell. That's all. So you might feel even if you are doing things like yoga or some other things you might feel like okay having peace a little bit but eventually you would backfire your mental health cannot be saved apart from jesus i've been there trust me i've been there i've been in a very bad place i've been in a place where i was hearing voices jesus saved me and if he did it for me he can do it for you hallelujah so how do we behave with the name of jesus to get maximum benefit i'll stop this video here and continue in in another video sharing how to behave with the name of jesus to receive what he has given to us ah the name of jesus is powerful christians today many of us are lacking power because we are not using the resources that are at hand because we don't know we perish because of lack of knowledge you need to start reading your bible Anyway, I'll continue this video in the next one. So I invite you to um, watch the next one. Um, but if this has blessed you, I invite you to like, to share, and subscribe. Like I said at the beginning of the video. And I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye.